mother. It's your time of day. Okay, mother. Time to have you say the problem. Playhouse, let you wear your views. The guest consultant with all the latest. So join in the fun. Everyone with laughs, problems, and funny games. So okay, mother. Okay, mother. We're presenting Dennis James. Okay, now, who makes the cooling lemonade? <laughs> Who's the gal we'll never trade? <laughs> well, it's one o'clock, your time of day. Time for you mothers to have your say. Okay, mother! Okay, Dennis! Sounds like a slow motor getting started, but we'll get started. All of you girls at home, now take it easy, relax, and settle back. You know, it's warm weather. No work for you from 1 to 1.30 every day. It's Mother's Day. No dishes to do, no lunch to prepare. Just sit back and all our entertainers here will entertain you. Okay, mother! Okay, yes. All right. All right, girls, first of all, here's Julia Me. I'll give her a big hand. Just a little bit. You want to help. <laughs> if I could be that beautiful, I could make a million dollars in television. You know that? Speak to us, Julia. Go ahead. Anyway, for the first month, Go ahead. Oh, I want to hear, too. Oh, all right. <laughs> Uh, for the first mothergram, we have a lovely Evans Compact. All right, love the first of all the mothergram now. Don't shout it out. Put your hand over your head. This English mother's little boy was not one of those chickens. Though beaten much and whipped a lot, he had spirit like the Dickens. He tried his best to lead a life, not wicked, not a pagan, but he was kept in bondage by the evil Mr. Fagan. Who is it? Come on, the little fellas ought to know this. Mother, stand, you know? Nicholas Nickleby is not right, oh, Mother. Stand. What? Oliver Twist. That's it. Give her a hand. That's it. Oliver Twist. The Evans Compact. Thank you very much. All right, now, Mother, grab number two. And, Julia, let's hear from you. Well, we Say have... something sweet and clean. And I'm not picking on you. I'm not being mean. All right. And we have for the second, Mother, grab the lovely little Evans Automatic Pocket Lighter. the a very small size just for ladies. And alongside, <laughs> along with that is the home size can of Energy and Lighter Fluid. Now... For the puggy little lighter, just for the ladies, we have Mother Graham number three. Two. Two. All right, two, three, I don't know. <laughs> this mother was proud, thought the skies would be sunny, for her son was the first chap in charge of our money. It afterwards seemed as if fortune were cruel. At the height of his fame, he was killed in a duel. Mother Stan, who? Alexander Hell. You're right, that's my mark. Give her a hand, sir. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's what she did. There's the little lighter. And here is the energy and lighter fluid. I got something else that I use. Mm. Thank you. I love this. Julia, speak. Well, this is the deluxe Polaroid television filter, the filter that's designed to cut down all reflected glare in your television room. All right, now for Mother Graham, number one. <laughs> to make it most confusing. This mom's little darling liked things to be right and disliked disrupting her day. When she started to munch on her afternoon lunch, she insisted on having, you have to listen to everything I say, she insisted on having her way. But just as she settled herself for a snack, a visitor caused her to flee. Poor girl could have spared herself being scared if she had just used D, D, T. I thought it was a hand of people, but it was Mother's Feather, so I guess it was a little girl in the front row who was first. Little Miss Muffet. That's right. Little Miss Muffet, that's right. It's almost like a graduation dress, is it? I did a graduation dress. Yes, yes. From where, honey? Public School 225. From Public School 225, you've got your thing, huh? <laughs> Man, that's not where you're going to school. What? Where are you going to school after this? Lincoln High. Lincoln High where? Brooklyn. Oh, I went to Lincoln High in Jersey City. I thought we were going to be Alma Mammies together. <laughs> you from Jersey City? Yeah. Or you from Jersey City or Lincoln High? Well, let me hear from you. Are you from Jersey City? Yeah! Yes! All right. That concludes the Mother Grams for today. To all of you folks from Jersey City and points west, south, north, and east, I'd like to talk to you right now about Phillips Milk and Magnesia Toothpaste, if I may. You see, many dental authorities say that a major cause of tooth decay are mouth acids. And unfortunately, all of us happen to have mouth acids. Everybody, no matter what walk of life you're in. If you want to cut down, on those mouth acids, then you want Philips toothpaste because there's a special ingredient in Philips that neutralizes those mouth acids on contact, which is mighty, mighty important. Now, another very important thing about Philips is its taste. It's got a really wonderful, cool, minty, nice spring flavor that you're going to love. It's hard to tell you exactly how a toothpaste tastes, 
But Julia will tell you where to get it so you can try for yourself and see what I mean. Well, Mother, you can get Philip's toothpaste at any local drug counter, and we hope you're not going to waste any time. Get some right away, and you'll love it. All right, remember, it's Philip's toothpaste at drug counters everywhere. Whoa, wee, whoa, wee, whoa. <laughs> All right, now, girls, I'm going across the studio. You supply the line. I'll try to supply the rhyme as best I can. If I fail, naturally enough, you get yourself a gift. Before we do that, I want to say when I come over there, the person I'm talking to, male or female, when the bell sounds, that person then becomes our lucky mother. If you get the right answer to the mothergram, you get yourself the Polaroid Land Camera, which is a beautiful camera that takes your picture, develops it in exactly 60 seconds. I think we have all that clear. Julia, are we all set? You get yourself over there. Girls, are you all ready now? Okay, mother! You certainly may. You lost your voice that time, didn't you? Yes, all right. Here's the client. Thank you. What's the line now? My husband's name is Romeo. My husband's name is... Is that your voice always like that or you just got a little laryngitis? Is it? My husband's name is Romeo. I'm trying to make a poem I know for Romeo, but I haven't got it. Give her a box of rose, Dan Hogan. I work for the Air Force at Guam. I work for the Air Force at Guam. I work for the Air Force at Guam. That's where you come from. That's where you come from? No, but I, that's a place from which I swam once in Guam. All right, mother back there, say it. I had dinner with the Tsar. Oh, you did? <laughs> I had dinner with a, scar, a czar, and she carries nary a scar. Too easy, honey. Dennis, do you like lasagna? Dennis, do you like lasagna? Yeah, but it fills up the labanza. The lasagna, labanza, I don't know. Wait a minute, let's see. Mother, back here. Speak to me, honey. Uh, by making these films, you will later be able to catch up. By making the films, you will later be able to catch up? Well, yes, it grows and grows and grows from a very little pup. <laughs> Say it, honey. The story is most unusual. The story is most unusual. Well, that's all right because you're my pal. <laughs> Say it, huh? Have you ever eaten crepe luck? Oh, yes, many times. Have you ever eaten crepe luck? Well, if I could only think of that word we had on that Passover day. If we, have you ever eaten crepe luck? What do they have in the soup? Nade luck? Nade luck! Nade luck! <laughs> Edna. Oh, honey, every day we've had Edna. Let's just once, let me say one thing here. We haven't had a lecture like this in a long time. The object of line and rhyme is to have some fun. I don't care what you stick me with. We ask every day before the show to not use the words that were used yesterday. So that we can have some fun, you'll get the gifts, we have some laughs. But every time I get hit with the same word every day, I, it stumps me, it stops me dead. You don't want to stop me, do you? You don't want it. <laughs> then go ahead, honey. My friend has a chihuahua. My friend has a chihuahua. All right, give her a box of Rosedale hosiery. Thank you very much. All right, let's see. Daddy, let's hear from you. I like to play pinochle. I like to play pinochle, and when I lose, I snap my knuckle. And you're the lucky mother, too. Come on down here, Pop. You're the lucky mother. Come on, you're going to win a camera. Come on, come on, come on. Don't come all the way. Come right here. I'm going to read now what is called a mothergram. If you get the right answer, you get the Polaroid camera. It takes your picture, develops it in exactly 60 seconds. All set? Don't shout it out, girls. If he doesn't get it, you may be next. Though at composing poetry, this mother's boy excelled. He couldn't stand the soldier's life. From West Point was expelled. Who is it? Don't shout it out, girls. The bell may sound. It may be you. Do you know? A poet's mother. Yeah, a poet's mother. <laughs> you haven't got it? Time no, is going fast. You have no. give him a big hand anyhow, girls. He hasn't got it. Got a very handsome daddy standing in the corner. Come on out here, Pop, so we can see you. Man, that's a good-looking fella, girls. Thank you, sir. Name, please. Charles Rodeman. From where, Mr. Rodeman? Uh, uh, Rutherford. Rutherford, New Jersey. Rutherford, All right, New fine. Jersey. Give me a line now. Maybe I can't rhyme. You go away with an Anson set. Uh, what is the best bread made? This man's a bread salesman. I can tell you right now. <laughs> Here's a kid who's in the dough. What is the breast bed? Uh... <laughs> I think I said something. I don't know what I said, but I think I said something. What is the best bread made? Wonder bread. Wonder bread. Is that what you want? <laughs> what, do you got a man from Wonder and a man from Bond? Well, both of these kids are in the dough. What is the best bread made? 
Uh, I guess I would have a bread if I were being paid. Okay? All right, let's see. Dennis, I'm Calabrese. Dennis, I'm Calabrese. Dennis, I'm Calabrese. That's a new form of craze. You see, you're either Navaritano, you're Calabrese, or you're Franco Valais, right? Yes, honey, come on. I was excited when I saw you in the restaurant. I was excited, and I was excited when I saw you in the restaurant, too. I was excited when I saw you in the restaurant. Well, it was just like seeing the great DuPont, but I'm going to give you a prize anyhow. A big horsey for the little girl right here. All right. I didn't get over to this side at all today, did I? I'm sorry, girls. We'll stay here for a minute. Speak to me, you. Um, could you rhyme, Dennis, uh, the word uh, Vincenza? Can you rhyme the word Vincenza? Yeah, with credenza. It's a form of furniture. You're the lucky mother. All right. You ready? Don't be nervous now, because you can go away with the Polaroid camera, boy. Here it is. Though at composing poetry this mother's boy excelled, he couldn't stand the soldier's life from West Point was expelled. His stories alone didn't give him the chills. He shivered some when he could not pay his bills. Who is it? He was a poor man, you see. Poor man. Who is it? You don't know? Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. She doesn't know. Give her a hand anyhow. Mother, right here. Have you ever been to Africa? I'd love to sit in the lap of her, Africa. No, give her a box of rose dust. What do you got there? What? Oh, yes, something new. A brand new small size Evans Compact done up in gold. There it is, honey. Let's get one last one over here now. Let's see. Go ahead. Go ahead, son. My mother likes hosiery. My mother likes hosiery. Uh, you want me to say yes, and I'm going to say no, sir. <laughs> Across the studio, are you ready, girls? Okay, mother! Okay! Stand, honey. I went to me. the next. I went to an alley called McDougal. I went to an alley called McDougal, and there I stood to blow my bugle. <laughs> I've been married 44 years this October. Oh, I love her. I love her very much for having got her a box of rose, Dan. Hold it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Mother Stan. Dennis, when you're on, uh... No, I forgot. Don't be nervous now. Come on, come on, come on. When you're on wrestling, you're drinking a toast and you say skull and salute us. Say nas, daughter. All right, when you're on wrestling and you drink a toast and you say skull and salute, say what? Nas, daughter. Nas, daughter? Nas, daughter. What's daughter? Nas, daughter. All right, that's good enough, isn't it? Okay, honey, Stan, let's hear it. My daughter's name is Bernice. My daughter's name is Bernice. My daughter's name is Bernice. I have a little rose nephew, but I have a fern niece. <laughs> now that's so good. Give her a box of rose, Dale Hosier. Stand, honey, in the back. Last one now. Last um, Sunday I went to a bazaar. Last Sunday I went to a bazaar. It was relatively close, not far. Okay. <laughs> We get to the final playoffs, girls. Now, every day at this time, we read a letter nominating some mother for Mother of the Week. In reading the letter, the mother automatically becomes our Mother of the Day. And here is the letter. This one says, Dear Dennis, I don't think there is any way to express the deepest feelings of the heart toward a mother. Mother is always doing kind deeds for others and never expects any thanks. But I thought this would be one way in which to show my appreciation for all she has done for us. When I was eight years old, now get this, my brother, sister, and I were unwanted by our real parents and were going to be put into a home. The lady we call mom found this out, though she was only 20 years old, and she pleaded and begged to raise us. She has two children of her own now, but she never gives one more than the other. She works on the farm six days a week so we can have all the comforts and pleasures of other children. A few years ago, a young couple moved near us. They didn't know how to manage their small home, so Mom immediately went over to help the young girl who was expecting a baby. Mom knew they couldn't afford to buy the things a baby needs, so she gave a baby shower in the girl's honor, and now the baby is almost two and is never forgotten by our mom. Dennis, now you just know a few reasons why I nominate this mother, who is now my mother, to be your mother of the week. It's signed Miss Sylvia Thomas of Butler Avenue, RFD number three, Millville, New Jersey. We're sending out to the mother she's talking about this beautiful Hellbro's wristwatch equipped with the famous 17 ruby lifetime jewel movement. 
The Hellbros watch, the correct watch for the correct time, goes out to Mrs. Catherine Fry, I believe it is, F-R-I-E, of Millville, New Jersey, our Mother of the Week. Mother, right now we'd like to take a few moments out and tell you all about genuine Bayer aspirin. You know something? The two most important kinds of relief to anyone suffering from ordinary headache are fast relief and gentle, dependable relief. And genuine Bayer aspirin gives you both. It's amazingly fast because it actually is ready to go to work in two seconds by stopwatch, and it's completely dependable because its single active ingredient is so gentle to the system, mothers give it even to small children on their doctor's advice. Now add to this Bayer Aspirin's unmatched record of use by millions of normal people without ill effect, and it's easy to see why you can take Bayer Aspirin with complete confidence. So for fast relief and for dependable relief, use genuine Bayer Aspirin. When shopping at your druggist's, you'll see this display of Bayer Aspirin from which you can serve yourself. Take the 100-tablet bottle and get Bayer Aspirin tablets for less than a penny apiece. And now... 